Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about SLCDs. And the first thing I want you to know is that SLCDs cannot be transmitted sexually from male to male, male to female, or female to female. Okay? And I don't have any information on barnyard animals and wildlife. So we'll just exclude that. So we know the, the human population. So the largest SLCD that I own is this puppy right here. And an SLCD is a spring-loaded camming device, which sort of revolutionized the whole climbing game in places where parallel cracks were prominent. But it, it revolutionized the climbing game overall, everywhere. Um, the smallest that I have, and it's not wrapped around one of my microphones, is this puppy right here. You know, and there might be some smaller than that. but they wouldn't be much smaller. Um, Spring-loaded camming devices, I'm not going to go into this too much. I'm, all I'm going to do is give you a link right here to, we talked about this uh, before, but I got lambasted because when I did talk about it, I was sitting in front of a swimming pool, drinking wine in Spain, and I wasn't in front of a rock wall, so the guys didn't think it was originally, didn't know what I was talking about. I'm going to place a couple SLCDs here for you, and then... Uh, I would rather, if you don't know much about them, just get some more beta off of Lisa and myself from uh, this link here, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at a horizontal placement, and that's one that goes sideways like this. I have pretty much an ideal placement for a very large cam like this. So I cam it down as tight as I can, and this one squeaks through quite nicely, then expands about a quarter to a half an inch. And... Giving the contact, the surface area, the shape of it, it's a bit pocketed behind the front edge here. So that's a little larger towards the outer edge. I know that, I mean, I could pull on this like I was trying to pull a skier off my sister. And uh, I mean, I could do that all day and that thing ain't going nowhere, man. And that is as bomb proof as it gets. Uh, the wire stem, all, all modern uh, SLCDs, or spring-loaded cam devices, have wire stems on them so that they can run over top of an edge. Okay, so when they get pulled downwards, the cam bends with it and the pull is directly outwards for the cam, so it still makes a good placement. Okay, let's talk about now a very, very textbook vertical cam placement. If you look at this crack here, you see it's wide on the top, narrow on the bottom, and if there's any way to show it to you, you can see there was a pocket back here. Okay, so I'll take my medium-sized cam, and i got a range I can work with now, and I just slimmer down there, go in from the top, down to the bottom, and that, my friends, is a very bomber, bomber cam placement. There's no way that could ever come out of there. It won't get dragged out by your rope either. Okay. So the next one we'll look at is a uh, horizontal seam for my smallest cam. Now the cam, this, this small cam, I mean if you take any kind of whipper on it, there's a good potential for it getting damaged uh, if you're not using it for aid. But this thing will just like fit down to the smallest sides, expands really nicely, it's running over an edge. But my guess is that thing would take a 20-footer, you know? So, you know, people say, well, blah, 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 blah. But if you have nothing else, what are you going to do? Not place it? And it, it might get you on, you know, it'll probably hold, you know, two body lengths or something like that. Confidently, I'm, I'm okay with that. And then uh, it gives you a chance to get something else in, uh, something larger. So um, don't underestimate the strength of these puppies. Like these little tiny little cams. So a lot of you, I'm sure, are just trying to get your rack together. Um, you're on YouTube trying to learn how to, to climb. Uh, one shortcut for filling in the pieces, you know, because cams are like 70 bucks a piece, right? So that's a lot. If you And you need a range of cams. Um, one of the things that you can do is go to eBay and buy these first generation stem cams for like five bucks. Right? They work the same, same principle, same idea. In actual fact, 
the design of these cams are a mathematical formula. And uh, when they tried to initially uh, copyright, is that what it is they call it? Patent, patent the cam? Um, they couldn't do that because it is a formula and a mathematical formula cannot be uh, patented. So, I'm off topic, but anyhow. Yeah, so I really like the design of these cams and I think they're great. And how we solved the wired cam issue in back in the day was what we did was put a piece of purlon cord and drilled it through the holes that are drilled in the in the stem and that way the cord would run over the edge of the rock and and turn it into just like it was a wired cam. And this is like, you know, 10 years before the pre-wired cam thing. It's just, that's how innovative climbers are. And so it would pull and it pull it directly straight out. And in, in my eye, in my eyes, I mean, it's even more predictable than the uh, wired cams as far as its results. So if you got to fill your rack out and, and cams are the best thing to, you know, start filling out with, um, you know, buy a few good wired cams, but get your intermediate pieces can be these off of eBay for like five bucks a piece. So that's my little tidbit advice, advice for you.